from MTE here in upstate New York. We're going to talk about just little things about sharpening your blades and you know when they're worn or safety issues of blades. Um, when you see that your blade is starts rippling here, that means you're losing material and the, your blade is pretty much is at the end of its life. It's a safety issue. If it's like this, you need to replace it because blade manufacturers, they test strength and bending and breakables at a certain thickness. And it just turns into a shear factor. If you hit something, most, part, most of your blade's gonna come apart or break apart and come shooting out of your deck. You do not want that. Another thing is if you have your blade damaged, these are little nicks, but these are, is off a bent set. Um, they're, it, it, the material that you're taking off here, if it, your end is, is completely rounded there, um, you're going to be taking off so much material, you're actually going to end up cutting way back to here to get yourself a straight blade. And what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up striping or your quality of cut's going to go way down. Is sharpening blades is a nice thing. And if for a homeowner, you can do it yourself. But just know that you got to do it right and the angle of your blade should stay the way of the stock one is. Um, these are three different blades. They have gator blades. These are low lift blades. These are high lift blades. Um, we want to sharpen these gator blades. These aren't that bad, but they're um, off a unit that got hit and, you know, hit some stuff. So half their set was bent and half were fine. And I was like, you know, they, they're just like, this gives us a whole new set. So, you know, another way to tell that blades are bent um, while they're on your deck. You rotate blade to tip to tip, right? You go to tip to tip. And if you will see one will be sitting higher than the other one, right? And to tell which one is bent, you rotate one over, all the way over. And then you go tip to tip again. And you're like, all right, it's still bent. So this blade might be set uh, straight. So if you rotate this blade back over to here and it sits flush, then this blade's most likely bent. But you still have to check it one more time with this blade, with this tip of the blade and the back side of this other blade. And they will lay even. So this side of the blade is actually bent. Now because we use, we work with different tractors that have opposite cutting uh, rotations. So some of them will be, you know, you'd be easier to get at like this, like your normal lawnmowers, they'll be have one rotation and it'll be easier to get at. These, we just put in a clamp, um, vice, it, vice clamp, put it down. We use a hand grinder. It's quicker, it's faster than having to take our grinding stone off our grinding wheels, swap over the grinding stones. They do make a handheld, handheld belt sander for blades. I believe it's Oregon that owns them. Um, there's actually grinding wheels for blades that are at a 45 degree angle. And then, or a paddle wheel. I like using the paddle wheel because it takes off material, but it doesn't take off a lot of material like a grinder. A grinder, you, you, you end up digging in and you'll, you'll get more waves into your blades. Um, another thing you want to know, don't stay in one spot. You want to keep on moving slowly along this blade. You know, just constantly back and forth along this blade. Don't stop here. Because if you heat up this metal, then you made actually that metal weaker than you ever, than originally. So you want to just keep on going slowly back and forth. We're only going to do one side just to make it quicker. Um, but near the end of your doing your sharpening, you need to make sure your blades are, are balanced. They have wall mounted balancers that you just put it up and you go horizontal with it and whatever end drops down is your heavy side. So you got to take off some more material on your, the side that's down. And then you put it back up on there and it should sit evenly across. You can use a screwdriver clamped into a vise. However you want to do it, 
it, it, as long as you got a center pivot that is that is level, and you'll be good to see if your blades are bent or um, are level and um, balanced. A couple things you're going to also need. I use a hand grinder. You're going to need your gloves, your work gloves. I use Impact. They're good gloves. Uh, safety glasses. Mine are tinted just because I got them from a factory. Um, ear protection. There's inner ear protection. Any type of ear protection when you're grinding is a plus. You need to have that. It's just how that goes. All right. We're going to set this up real quick. And I want to show you pretty much how you're going to want to do this. Uh, the full shield, like an old grinding full shield, might help you out better so you don't steam up so much. You will end up steaming up your glasses. But slide those on. Earmuffs on. Gloves on. Rotate, yeah, long sleeves, because you're going to be shooting metal material back at you. Another thing is um, you could wear like a smock so you don't get yourself all uh, metal dust on you. Like, uh, and see, already my glasses are already fogged up. But we're good. And then you just go at it. And see, we are try we keep a uniformed shape. You don't want to extra, you don't want to start digging down, moving all different angles on this blade. Right now you're at a straight blade, and you'll keep on doing that. Just keep yourself as steady as you can, and just keep on working back and forth. You pretty much got to be your own jig, and you just got to keep on going back and forth on it. Put this back in here. Now, like we were saying earlier, you don't want to cut on the back side. But when you get down to a tip here, you're going to have a little burr that's going to end up on the bottom of it. So all you do is real quick, zoop, that's it. Nothing, you don't want to sit there and just like how I did this side, you don't want to do that. You just want a quick zip on it. Just to knock the burr down. And that is a sharp blade. You're ready to go cut. Um, this is what I'm going to show you real quick what not to do. Now, with the pad, it doesn't transfer heat as much. With a grinder, you would really see the heat transfer, but you can div it down in there real quick. And that is something you do not want to do. Just to know, have a nice one. Try to stay cool out there, folks. <laughs>